So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have some scraps of fabric. Some scraps of fabric or you can take um, like old, like if you have an old t-shirt then go ahead and cut, cut out little squares of your t-shirt. So I just, I just went ahead and picked out some of my favorite little cute patterns that I could use for this little toy. And they're just cute different things that I like that are cute little colors. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut from here a straight line across about probably less than an inch big or an inch big so each of them should look about like that now that you have cut all of your pieces up into little strips then you can go ahead and continue on with the next step um, I cut mine into a certain color scheme so as you can tell my color scheme is a pink with kind of a little bit of purple in there go ahead and take my colors and make sure that not one of them is the exact same color next to it so you're just going to go down the line and choose a different color every single time so that you get kind of a different color, I guess you could call it, different color, yeah, a different color every single time. I'm going to do a solid color there, and then a pattern, and then a solid. and then a pattern, then another pattern, and then a solid. So this is how it's going to look in just a whole bunch of different colors. Now that you've got all of your colors and patterns separated, go ahead and take a ponytail. Since I'm doing the color scheme pink, I'm going to use a pink ponytail. Take a pink ponytail and wrap it around and place it in the middle so that all of your strands are in the ponytail and go ahead and wrap it around again making sure that all of your strands are under there so now I've wrapped the ponytail around three times and it's going to look like this. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take the top and sprawl it out a little bit like that. Just comb it out. And same with the bottom. And you can pull them a little bit just to rearrange them. Move them around just like that. And just go ahead and keep doing that until you get like a nice little ball type thing. And I had a couple little strings there. And then this is how it will look in the end. So the really cool thing about this is that you can use this as a toy for your real baby, for like a real baby, or you can use it for your reborn. And um, if you're using it for a real toddler, you can um, use it to tell colors. Like if you point to this color, what, what color is this? And they'll be like pink. You can say yes. You can also make multicolored. Um, I just chose pink and purple because it's girl gender because I have a reborn girl. So I hope you all enjoyed this DIY. Please like, subscribe, and comment for more. And I will have many, many more reborn DIYs coming up in the near future. So bye guys. Hope you like this.